Hi, I'm Bill England of the Ambler Odyssey's YouTube channel. I'm going to build a 48 foot trawler yacht here in the sea clamp boat shed in the backyard of my Summerside Prince Edward Island Canada home. The 30 arches required for the boat shed will be laminated on an arc shaped jig. Two by fours are ripped in half lengthwise, then ripped in half again. They are also used for the two and a half inch thick spacer blocks. To prevent the plastic covering from tearing, the outer edges are sanded smooth. Folks, well here we go. Exciting day for me today as I get to start uh, gluing up my first arch form. Uh, first of 30. This is the biggest wood project I've, uh, I've undertaken, uh, building the arches that will in the spring be used to build the boat jig. So I've got my jig laid out, my clamp support blocks here, got the spacer blocks, uh, middle spacer blocks laid out, and I know you can't see it, uh, but I have my um, cut up pieces that I'm going to use on the floor. Got the glue, got the clamps. First one, it'll be interesting to compare this first one with the last one. Because this one's going to be a pain in the arse. I think I know how to do it. But, compared to the last one, which I should have down pat after I do 30 of these. So, alright, watch, enjoy. Got a little music in the background. Got some Christmas lights. Let's go. First glue up, here we go. Let's get my spread stick here. Now I coated the uh, template for the arches in a polyurethane, which will hopefully keep this from the, the um, squeeze out from ripping up the template. Again, I'm going to live and learn. Might have to end up putting plastic down. I don't know. Find out once we've got this all glued up and I'm ready to go. Look at that. It's like I put on the right amount of glue. Another thing is, I'm interested to see how much glue each arch uses. Alright. Now bear with me with the f video editing. Something new to me, so just like this project is new to me. Something that will also change for the better over time as I practice and my plan throughout this project is sort of the first time I do anything is I'll probably film it in its entirety 
try to talk as I'm going so that some of you more seasoned woodworkers can uh, maybe give me some tips. See, I already did one mistake. I glued the wrong side. Well, let's try this. That was funny. Won't be the first gaff. Or it may be the first gaff, but definitely won't be the last. Thought I was doing good laying everything out ahead of time, trying to be prepared. Let's get this bad boy up here. blocks before I start clamping from the middle and working to the outer edges. Also interested how long each arch will take me. Okay, clamp number one. There's our first piece is in place. Looking not too bad. Let's keep going, I guess, hey? All right. Stapling and screwing 
these into place so it's not just going to be glue. Obviously getting the glue get glued up first. approach to do this. This one has to cut the curve into it. This one being the first one is not the smoothest.
said, by the 30th arch, I should have this down pretty good. I'll be in trouble if I don't. Uh, that took about an hour for to do up the first half of the first arch. Lots of learning along each placement. Arch number one. I literally have every clamp but one in use. Um, I figured a few more spots where I needed to clamp, especially to hold, uh, hold it down, hold the arch down towards the ends. I think I'll be needing some more uh, clamp purchases in my near future. It sure ain't pretty, but she's done. Seventeen clamps, fourteen six inch spacer blocks, one three inch spacer block, two twenty four inch curved spacer blocks, four ten foot one by twos, 
four six foot one by twos and two eight foot one by twos. All ready to glue up. Number 30 of 30. Let the fun begin. Eager to see just how large the boat shed would be, I asked two of my sons to hold a pair of arches in place. Wow. You have heard of a barn raising. Well, in the next episode, there's going to be a boat shed raising, complete with a semi-mobile medieval arch raising platform. For a front row seat on this boat build project, please like and subscribe to the Ambler Odysseys on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.